them into the relegation positions. They were at home to a Blackburn team going through their worst spell of the season. Everton's one change brought a return to Premiership football after two years for Scottish international striker John Spencer, signed this week on a month's loan from QPR. For Blackburn, Flowers was back in goal after injury. Ripley and McKinley also returned. Tony Gubber saw this one. Free kick given and quickly taken. Spencer holding off Sherwood. That was wide of Hutchinson, but Bilic comes up from the back. Here's Nicky Barnby. Wilcox didn't get there first. Spencer with his first chance. And close to an early opening goal during this lone spell at Everton. Tim Flowers saving well. This is Kenner. Oh, it's a nice touch by Darlene into the path of Stuart Ripley. He's just got something ahead of him. Oh, Blackburn get another chance, which Martin Darling puts almost into the uh, top stand. Well, it was a swift break by Blackburn, but Everton's defence looked well marshalled, and uh, Dave Watson's having a, a busy time in that penalty area. So kept his balance, Ripley makes a break down the right, here's Ripley, it's the best chance so far. In the end, there wasn't enough sting on the shot to seriously trouble Myra, but it was a threatening break by Blackman. Tyler, trying to hit Nicky Barnby, does so well. Kinley, who was filling in at left back with Wilcox upfield. Don Hutchison. This is Oster. And it was ambitious by the 19-year-old. Uh, in fact, there are half a dozen players in Everton's 11 and substitutes today who are 20 and younger. McKinley, Flickcroft, trying to chip it into Sutton, who chests it down, Sherwood! For once, Watson was outfoxed. Sutton getting his body across the defender. Knocked in by Gary Flickcroft. Off the chest of Sutton for Sherwood to shoot, and he got right underneath it. That's short. Flowers has come. Oh, he's dropped it. Madar. Tim Flowers coming over the top of defender and attacker to claim the ball in the air. Sutton. Nicely laid down to Sherwood. Back to Martin Darling. Myra comes. Can't use his hands. It was outside the area. But he'd made the save initially. Spencer on the run, but he's on his own. It falls to Madar. Faced by Hendry. They've got players over on this side. Madar gets a second chance. There were two defenders to cut it out. Hutchison was fouled, it'll be a free kick. Well, the temperature's going up at Goodison Park. Oh, Madar's header was dropping just under the bar. Tim Flowers turning it over to bring Everton a corner as we move into the last 15 minutes of the first half. And Ripley dispossessed by ball. Spencer. Be a, a Blackburn throw. John Spencer had his chance in the first half, but it came very early. Oh, nice turn, darling into the side netting, but it was a lovely turn by Darling. It was as if the boot was covered in Velcro. The ball absolutely stuck. Turned and dragged it away. 
in the end the angle was acute and too tight Target. Nothing that Myra couldn't deal with. Oh, that's a good spot. Foster. Oh, he's done well. Madar. Well, the applause is for John Oster, who played recently for Wales in the international against Brazil creator of the chance which Madar hit just wide of the post lost his balance and lost possession and Blackburn have the ball we're into added on time Darling checked back because he thought he was offside oh, Myra trying to keep cool but they've actually given Blackburn a, a last gasp opportunity and there isn't time to take it the one goal by Madar after 61 minutes has secured the three points for Everton. Two places and two points above relegation when the game kicked off. But 30 points at three o'clock is now 33 at 20 minutes to five. And you can sense the relief all round Goodison Park. Now you've got, what, eight games left, you've yeah. got 33 points. You're still not safe, there's still a lot to play for. Oh, there's a lot to play for. We found ourselves, after recent results, uh, dropping towards the bottom again after a, a very, very good month. But uh, with uh, the five home games now and, and three away, hopefully we'll pick up enough points to survive. I'm quite uh, serene because the team's playing well. Uh, we aren't taking our chances or doing as well in, in chance situations as we were doing right at the beginning of the year. But our defending is not bad. I mean, we limited Everton's chances to, you know, not even a handful today. We had a, a large share of possession of the, of the ball, perhaps of the lion's share. And I thought, you know, we had quite a few goal mouth situations. But the ball didn't run for us. But I'd be much more concerned if the team was playing badly. They can't score a goal to save their lives at the moment, Blackburn. But give us your view on Everton, uh, how they play today and whether you think they'll stay up. Well, it was a gritty performance, and uh, it was based on the, on the three centre-backs, Tyler, Watson and Billich, plus the goalkeeper. I thought they were very good. They denied, for me, Blackburn, hardly any chances. Sherwood seemed to have the best chances for them. And I think they just stuck at it, and the goal, was, I thought, was rather fortunate. 
flowers caught in no, no man's land. But I think the key for survival for Everton, there are eight games, five of which are at home. Get Ferguson back fit. I think that was his last game today that he misses, hopefully, for the rest of the season. Get him back fit at home. Get the ball in the penalty area. He'll cause problems. And they should win enough uh, home games to survive. Barnsley are the danger, aren't they, for the Tottenham's and Everton's? Yeah, and they're, they're just playing with so much passion as well at the moment. And you can just see the way Danny Wilson's got them playing. But, of course, they've had a few injury problems today themselves and they've not got a, a big squad. Okay.